Hey everybody, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be showing you how to choose the best candle wax. There are a lot of different candle waxes on the market, touting various benefits. How do you choose the best one? There are a few key factors that you'll want to consider when choosing your wax type. Maximum fragrance load, hot and cold throw, glass adhesion, and usability. The maximum fragrance load is important to consider. This will influence the amount of fragrance that you can use in your wax type. If you want a powerful, strong scent, you'll want to make sure to use a wax that can hold at least 10 to 12% fragrance. Just like considering the maximum fragrance load, it's important to consider how the wax holds fragrance and releases it when it's hot or cold. If you would like a powerful scent throw, be sure to choose a wax that holds fragrance well. Soy wax is notorious for a weak fragrance throw. You will also want to consider glass adhesion when choosing your wax type. Glass adhesion is how well the wax interacts with the sides of your candle container or vessel. Some waxes can pull away from the sides of your container more easily than others. So be sure to look for wax blends that are noted for good glass adhesion. Finally, usability is a huge factor in choosing your wax type. We love the Virgin Coconut Soy, Cocoa Apricot Cream, and Beeswax Cocoa Cream from the Wooden Wick Co. Because they have high fragrance loadability, an excellent hot and cold throw, great glass adhesion, and are soft enough to cut with a butter knife. The most common types of wax are paraffin, soy, beeswax, and natural beeswax blends. Paraffin is the world's most commonly used candle wax. It is removed from petroleum during the refining process. Paraffin is a relatively hard wax and comes in a variety of melting points, which allows for it to be used for many different types of candles, including both pillars and container candles. Developed in the 1850s, paraffin is valued for its opacity, lack of color, lack of odor, and consistent burn qualities. Soy wax is produced by hydrogenating soybean into a waxy solid. It is softer, slower burning, and less transparent than paraffin. The development of soy wax is credited to the U.S. agribusiness community. It was first commercially used in candles in the late 1990s. Soy has become very popular in recent years because it is from a renewable source. However, working with 100% soy can have some challenges, as is the case with any natural product. Common challenges include the ability to hold a very high fragrance load, wax not properly adhering to the glass, or sinkholes. Sinkholes occur when air pockets are trapped inside a candle and leave pockets or craters beneath the surface of the wax. Beeswax candles have been used for more than a thousand years. This wax is the substance secreted by honeybees when they construct their honeycombs. The wax is obtained by melting the empty comb in boiling water. It's stickier than other waxes, and its composition varies slightly according to the geographical location and diet of the bees. Beeswax is a relatively soft wax, but has a high melt point. It is the most expensive of candle waxes and it's valued for its slow burn, golden color, and unique aroma. Beeswax is available in yellow or white bleached color. Adding a little bit of coconut oil to a beeswax will help to lower the melt temperature and increase the wax blend's ability to hold fragrance. Now to our real favorites, natural wax blends. Natural wax blends can contain some or all of the waxes mentioned above, including soy, coconut, apricot, beeswax, palm, paraffin, and more. The best wax blends that we have ever worked with include the Wooden Wick Co. Virgin Coconut Soy, Cocoa Apricot Cream, and Beeswax Cocoa Cream. These waxes are fairly soft, can hold a high amount of fragrance, and are super easy to use. The Virgin Coconut Soy Wax is made from a blend of soy and coconut waxes, both of which come from renewable sources. The Cocoa Apricot Cream Wax is made of a blend of apricot and coconut wax and contains no soy, unlike a majority of natural wax blends on the market. The coconut in this blend also comes from a renewable source. The waxes have been blended for specific use with candles, formulated to eliminate problems. These problems include fragrance sweating, wet spots, shrinkage, sinkholes, and frosting and these will give you the best cold and hot throw. 
We'll elaborate on these terms in another video. In the meantime, you can brush up on your candle making vocab by visiting our blog, Know Your Candle Vocabulary. We've included the link below. Now you know how to choose the best candle wax. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? What's your favorite wax to work with? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments. Happy making!